Welcome to Math in a Box with Susan Johnsey. In this lesson, we are going to learn to factor polynomials. These are special polynomials. In the first polynomial that I have written, there's a 2x squared plus 9x minus 5. There are three terms, thus it is called a trinomial. These trinomials are special because I multiplied two binomials together to find them. Now, if you do not remember what a binomial is, nor how to multiply it, then you are on the wrong lesson. What we're going to learn today is to take a trinomial and learn how to find the two binomials from which it came. All right, let's look at my box, and we are going to copy the box onto your paper draw it just as I have it done here, put it over to the side a little bit. Now you'll see that there is an F at the top of the box. F stands for first. Our first term is the 2x squared. We must find what will multiply together to give 2x squared. Well that's pretty easy. If we multiply by 2x times an x, we will have 2x squared. All right, now the L is above the box. L stands for last. Our last term is the negative 5. Yes, I did skip the positive 9x, the middle term. We will skip the middle term. We will use it at the end of the process. So let's look at the negative 5. In order to multiply, to give it a negative 5, you could multiply 1 times a negative 5 or you could multiply negative 1 times a positive 5. In order to get the negative, we would have to have 1 positive times 1 negative. So you see the little L has a blank in front of it. We're going to write plus and a minus here to help us remember that we must have one positive number and one negative number in order to get the negative 5. Now let's begin with the 1 and the negative 5 that I have written first. We're going to place those over here. Now it will matter where I put the 1 and the 5. I'm going to try the uh, 5, the negative 5 at the top and the plus 1 at the bottom. Now I'm using this one first, the 1 and the negative 5, and I chose the placement. Now we do our next two multiplies. We go across to do those. We multiply negative 5 times x. That's a negative 5x. We multiply the 2x times the 1 and we get a positive 2x. Now that's four multiplies that we did. Four multiplies and then the last step is here. We combine these. We do not multiply. What's a negative 5x plus 2x? Well, that's a negative 3x. This number, this term, should match the middle term. Our middle term is 9x. If it does not, then we know that we did not make the right choices. Our work is not correct. We must start over. So you can either create another box or, if you like, you can just erase what you have written. Hopefully you wrote in pencil and you can erase it carefully. We only have to erase the 1 and the 5. Don't erase the 2x and the x. We will leave that alone. And we'll put the 1 at the top and I'm going to make the uh, 5 negative and the 1 positive. Alright, let's do our multiplying. Going across, we'll have a plus 1x. Going across the other way, we will have a negative 10x. Now the last step is always to combine these together. What's 1 minus 10? 1 minus 10 is a negative 9x. Is this our middle term? No, but it's the number is correct, the 9 is correct, but the sign is wrong. When that happens, that means you have the 1 and the 5 in the correct place. You just need to change where you have the plus and the minus. So I'm going to change the positive 1 to a negative 1. 
and I'll change the pos negative 5 to a positive 5. Now when you do that, that will change the signs also as you moved across. As you multiplied across, it should be a negative 1x. And the 2x times the 5x, 5 becomes a positive 10x. So now when we combine negative 1x plus 10x, we will have a positive 9x. That is our middle term. So we now have the correct work. But where are the answers? Remember, we're trying to find two binomials. I'm going to erase this just to clean it up a little bit. And we're going to write our two binomials right here. But where are they? They're over here in the box. The first one is right here on the top. Every time it will be sitting right there on the top part of the box. That's 2x minus 1. I hope you can read it. It did get a little messy. The other binomial is here, the x plus 5. We found our two binomials. If you will multiply this out, 2x times both of these would be 2x squared plus 10x. Now take the negative 1 and multiply it times both of these. You'll have a negative x minus 5. The two terms in the middle are both x terms. We combine and we have the original trinomial that we started out with up here. So we know we have correctly factored our problem and there is our final answer. All right, let's try another one. x squared minus 5x plus 6. We just need to write x times an x. Now look at the last term. It's a positive 6. Now we could multiply 1 times 6, or we could multiply negative 1 times a negative 6. Remember, when you multiply two negatives, you will get a positive. Now because this problem does have a negative in it over here, see the negative on the middle term? We really need to use negative numbers. So we're not going to use this one with the positives. We will use the negative 1 times the negative 6. Now they both have to be negative because a negative times a negative will give us the positive 6. So in our blank over here we will write two negatives. I know that looks like an equal marks, but hopefully you'll remember that's two negatives. All right, let's try the negative 1 and the negative 6. We go across and we multiply. We go across the other way. Now be careful. What's a negative 1x and a negative 6x? That's negative 7x. That's not our middle term. So the negative 1 and the negative 6 didn't work. Are there other numbers that will give us 6? Sure. We should have written down negative 2 times negative 3. Let's erase this very quickly and see if we can write a 2 and a 3 in here. I'll put a 2 at the top and a 3 at the bottom. and It really doesn't matter on this one where we place these because we have x in both places. All right, let's go across and we'll get a negative 2x. Going across the other way, we have a negative 3x. Now combine those. What's a negative and a negative? Now we're not multiplying. A negative 2 and a negative 3 gives us a negative 5x. And that is our middle term. So this is the correct box. Let's our binomials are x minus 2. See it sitting right here? And the other one is the x minus 3. So we have learned how to factor a special trinomial, a trinomial that has an x squared term, an x term, and a number. It was a trinomial that I had created by multiplying two binomials together. We have learned to find those binomials by using this box. So please copy the box down and use it in your work. It should help you a lot.